I am someone. Let's end bullying. We've got Aaron Moore, the executive director, and we've got Andrea. Andrea, how can I say? See, you were up until one thirty, and I can't pronounce your name. Oh no, you went out last night to see Madonna. You're allowed to do that. It's not like your teacher's going to give you heck, is it, Andrea? You're aging me, Rod. What? Because you like music? I'm <laughs> aging you. Yeah, right. You're thirty-five years old. My right. goodness. Yeah. I am someone. The ultimate auction. So we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, Aaron Moore, the I am someone. Let's end bullying. What's that all about? Well, we're trying to reach out to uh, teenagers um, across. Actually, right across Metro Vancouver. We were just in the Tri Cities. We did a pilot project here with uh, texting. Um, what we know is that youth today text 3,400 texts a month. So they're not picking up the phone, you know, and they're spending more time with their eyes into their phone than they are up. So what we're trying to do is get the message out that if teens feel sad, bullied, alone, afraid, and even suicidal, that they could text 211 to get help. There's somebody on the other end. They're professionals, they're trained, and they know how to uh, get the message back to, to teenagers on what to do. Okay, now this isn't 24 hours a day, is it? It's not, but it is um, every day, 8 yes. a.m. to 11 p.m. BC211 is the um, organization, the nonprofit organization we've partnered with. They're the technology behind the ability for 211. Okay, now um, bullying takes many forms, whether it's physical, mental, there could be anything. And you said cyberbullying is the biggest thing right it now? It is, it is. So as a, a parent uh, with your teenager, I know teenagers uh, have got their own mindset and they're stubborn as heck. Uh, how do you get involved and how do you uh, keep in touch with your kid? Um, you know, because online they can build different profiles, they can go different places. How can you get involved with this? Well, you know, what I know, and I'm a parent myself, and uh, my husband and I, what we've always done is just to try to be involved as much as we can in what our daughter's doing and just ask questions and, and show interest and ask to see her phone every once in a while, be a part of what she's involved in, because it's a community. When she's online, when she's on her phone, it's a community that she's involved in. It is exactly, and you said that only 8% of parents are actually involved? Well, not involved. 8% are, are uh, kids are, 8% of teenagers are actually telling their parents if they're being bullied. Okay. So... You know, if we think that our kids, if we think we know everything that's going on with our kids and we think that we know that they would come to us if they were being bullied, it's not the case. That's a Canadian statistic. It's uh, from about 2013, 2012, 2013. So um, that's why we're reaching out with this texting platform. It's free. Teens can just pick up their phone. It's confidential. It's anonymous. They can text 211. So if they're not telling their parents, they could at least be reaching out and talking to somebody who is trained and professional at the other end and get resources um, on what to do if they're being bullied. That is fantastic. Um, yeah, because another friend of mine I was talking to, she tries to get involved with her kid, and he's 14. And now he's discovered, oh, well, um, my mom's going to look at my phone. I'm going to delete these texts. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go over here. So it's, it's, I lost my hair thinking about what I've got to deal with my kid in this. You know, it's just, it's amazing. So how, how can you be a parent and not pull your hair out and try to deal with this? Because it's really hard to stay on top of it. Sure. And, and we also want to give a sense of responsibility to our children as well and autonomous, let them be autonomous that they are making good decisions. So, you know, just talking to them, ensuring that uh, they can be, they can come to their parents at any time. And now if we're sharing this message and the audience is parents, they now can share with their child, hey, listen, if you're not going to talk to me about issues that are going on for you, you can text 211. It's free. It's anonymous. It's confidential. So if you're not talking to me as a parent, don't be afraid to reach out. Put that number in your phone. Excellent. So that's the I am someone, let's end bullying. Now, uh, that was Aaron Moore, the executive director, Andrea Howarth, uh, the Madonna fan. Uh, yes. You have got the ultimate online auction you've put together. Yes, we are very excited to be launching the ultimate online auction. It is starting this Friday at 9 a.m. and it goes until November 2nd, where bidding will close at 10 p.m. on Monday, November 2nd. And we've put together a variety of packages, some really exciting packages to bid on, such as the ultimate sports event, the ultimate shopping spree, the ultimate theater package, the ultimate cooks package, or the ultimate tween birthday. Those are just a few packages that people can go online and bid on. Excellent. I understand the ultimate uh, sports package is a Canucks box uh, seat game, uh, hotel and everything. And Not box, but oh, is it club, box? Seats oh, club seats. With I say club a seats. buffet yeah. dinner and a fabulous night downtown at a wonderful luxury hotel. Excellent. So uh, where can people get details on this? 
starting November, well, starting now, you can go online and register. You can register all your information. So go to uh, coquitlamcenter.com and there'll be a link there to click to our online website. Excellent. And um, then, yeah, November 2nd, you can go online and start bidding. Excellent. And uh, do you have any major sponsors? Coquitlam Centre, of we course, do, a big community yes. sponsor. Huge sponsor. So once uh, the bidding closes, November 2nd, who, the successful bidder will then be able to go to Coquitlam Centre customer service and pick up their items and pay for the pay for their items. Uh, so Coquitlam Centre has been a huge support. Um, also Dominion, Dominion Lending Centre, the Tri-City News, um, and uh, yeah, I am someone. They've all just been great. Excellent. Sponsors. And as a representative of Tri-City Radio, we'd like to donate a $300 advertising package for you, so that way we'll uh, produce the commercials and we'll do everything, so all they got to do is just spend like $1,000 and we'll give mm-hmm. them, that goes towards the I Am Someone, and then we'll give them all their uh, airtime. There. Fantastic. Yeah. And I do want to say we are going to have a showcase at Coquitlam Centre yes. where we will have some items on display, so that's starting this weekend, October 16th and 17th.